something big is happening in Egypt. The Egyptian Refining Company is the Egyptian private sector's largest in-progress infrastructure mega-project. This project is a great example of the collaboration of the private sector and the government. The main idea of ERC is to uh, get low-value products that are being produced in Cork, Cairo Oil Refinery uh, Company, and uh, producing high-value distillates that the market currently needs. The project will be producing 4.75 million tons of products. This project will uh, cut imports of Egyptian uh, petroleum products by 40%. ERC is one of Africa's largest ever project finance deals. ERC could also be a boon to the finances of its developers, Kala Holdings, the landmark investment attracted the support of top Egyptian, Gulf, and international investors, global export credit agencies, and development finance institutions. The project has been 12 years in the making. Kala Holding identified the idea early 2006, and by mid-late 2006, we signed an MOU with EGPC. In 2007, we signed an EPC contract with a contracting group, including GS and Mitsui. In 2008, I almost finalized a debt package from commercial banks. Unfortunately, the global financial crisis had a very bad impact on the banks who were uh, providing the debt and they had to pull out. So we had to start a new. The debt package finalized in 2010 included 2.35 billion US dollars in senior debt and 225 million US dollars of subordinated debt for a total of 2.6 billion US dollars. On the equity side, we started the project with a group of high net worth investors from the Gulf and we were successful in concluding a number of commitments from local institutions. However, as a result of the Egyptian revolution in 2011, many of those local institutions had to pull out and we had an equity shortfall of around $450 million. Kala Holding had to step in big time and uh, took a part of the shortage and we secured $360 million from Gulf investors who were able to step up to the plate. Kala was able to put all this group together in order to be able to execute this magnificent project. Kala and its partners reached financial close on ERC in June 2012 on the eve of Egypt's first presidential election. And its contractors GS and Mitsui broke ground in 2014. Since then, ERC has weathered an oil price crash, Egypt's forex crisis, and rampant inflation. The reason why it survived is the economics were rock salt. And we had a very deep organization, both within Qala and within ERC. Within Kala in the early days from 2006 till 2011, we had a very strong team that included a lot of people who have made huge sacrifices. The government of Egypt is standing very firmly behind this project and we're seeing that support at every juncture along the project's life. ERC applied the concept of responsible investing advocated by the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. The project has been a, a good source of employment in general in Egypt. At peak, we were employing 18,000 people, of which 1,800 from the local community. There is also a great environmental impact. We take out of the environment 96,000 tons of sulfur every year and 450,000 tons of coke that are being produced and disposed of safely instead of CO2 emissions in the atmosphere. ERC conducted the most comprehensive environmental social impact assessment ever commissioned in Egypt for an industrial project. The result of which ERC has been focusing on four main areas to develop the social community. 
The project is expected to be in full commercial operation by mid-June of uh, 2019. ERC is a very important project for Qala, both in terms of showing what we can do in the future and for its uh, impact on our balance sheet and our cash flows. This project is a great board into a bright future for Qala Holdings. We are very grateful that our backers, our fund, debt providers, the equity shareholders have allowed us this uh, once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. ERC is a great example of the role of the private sector. Given time, resource, support from the government, the private sector can lead a lot of projects and can be one of the engines of growing this economy into the future.